In this video I'm going to explain the terminology used by PW and PK players. Since Persistent World was released all those years ago, the community has developed many words and abbreviations to help describe things in the mod. For the new players this can be quite confusing, and the only way to learn them would have been to slowly pick it up through observation and asking. For those of you who are familiar in the mod, however, you might still pick up some ones you didn't know exactly in this video. RDM. This is probably the oldest one of all of them. My original understanding of this was that it was just a shortened version of the word random, but nowadays it seems to be the initials for random deathmatch. Anyway, it means that you can't kill another player in PK without a valid reason as set out in the rules. PK servers aren't deathmatches, so you can't just walk up to someone and kill them like in a deathmatch. You have to follow the rules. Clogging doesn't mean wearing clogs, and it isn't a plumbing term, it means combat logging. Because of the persistent nature of Persistent Kingdoms, you get to keep your items and gear when you log out. So one of the oldest offences has been to log out in the middle of a fight that you're losing so you don't actually lose any of it. That's a combat log, that's a clog, you would be clogging if you did that, and it's always against the rules, don't do it. Players who are new to the mod always do this, they think they're doing something original and making a new amazing tactic to avoid losing, but just don't fucking do it. A tin can was originally a mocking nickname for PW's strongest armour, the plate armour, obviously coming from its resemblance to a tin can. Over time it's come to refer to any strong heavy armour at all. If you want to survive a battle longer, you'll need a set of tin. Ah, my favourite word in PW and PK. This word's really flexible in the PK community. So generally, in PW and PK, pleb means someone who's lightly geared or has no armour or anything. So it could be someone who's just farming, doing manual tasks like that, or someone fighting in a war, but who has light armour or no armour at all. But as the rise of clans happened in PW and more and more people joined these big organised clans, it came to mean just someone who isn't in one and has a kind of just a normal username. And if someone asks you, hey, are you still in a clan and you're not in a clan, you might say, oh no, I'm just a pleb at the moment. Leading on from that, we have a pleb war or a pub war. PK is known for very large-scale battles between clans, but for less set-piece battles we call them pleb wars. Usually, no serious orders are given, faction members, whether they're part of a clan or not, run out with very little to no armour, and just fight for the sake of the fun combat. So if there is a clan online and they want to just have fun, they might declare war on a different clan, but instead of all gearing up in tin and lining up, the members just run out of the castle with little to no gear on, uh, either in small groups or as individuals, and just run at the enemy castle usually. Pleb factions are usually the instigators of such wars. When you're in a Persistent Kingdoms clan, you will have specific tags to put on as your username on the server. For example, as of making this video, I am in the House of Lancaster clan, so my tags are Knight Spudgun. Lancaster. Pleb tags or pub tags is a term used by clans to describe when you log on to the server without your clan tags on. So if I just went on as Spudgun. The term has been popularised because clans have specific uses for it. For example, when they want to take over a faction but they don't want the other faction to know that they're the clan, they just send people on with random usernames so they can't be identified. So this is going on as pub tags or pleb tags. When you join a clan in Persistent Kingdoms, you will have to join a Steam group, and this is what calling banners is. My clan fucking called banners when I was making a video. The clan leadership decides it's time to get all the members onto the server, so they post lots of Steam announcements to call everyone on. That is calling banners, getting your members on for a war or anything. It comes from Game of Thrones, of course. Call the banners. Or oh, fill the room. Ah, Ghetto Lancing. This is a cavalry playstyle which is hit and run in nature and it involves taking a light horse, a lance and wearing little to no gear. So there's low risk but high reward because your aim when you're Ghetto Lancing 
is to go around and get people with high levels of gear. It's a really fun style to play, it's really popular. When you couch your lance and use that particular attack as cavalry, you're likely to get a one-hit kill on anyone regardless of the gear they're wearing, so that's why it's really effective against tins. And it's just so satisfying when your couch lance connects to an enemy tin. You know, it's just one of the best feelings you can get in PK, and I've got lots of videos of it on PW and PK. Oh, and as for the name itself, Ghetto Lancing, I, I don't know where that came from, it's silly, but yeah, that's what it's called. The banner point, or the cap point, is a location in a castle where you capture the castle. There are lots of banners all around the castle usually, but this is a very specific one, which is easily recognisable, and you'll see it on the screen, where someone can hold a banner when they're at war on it and it will capture the castle, allowing their faction to spawn on it. So if you're in a war, you might hear the order to get to the cap point to capture the castle. Cut the banner point! Ninja caps are a really fun moment in Persistent Kingdoms. This is when an individual sneaks into an enemy castle as it's being defended in a war and captures it. It can be absolutely devastating for the defenders as the enemy will start spawning under their noses. They lose control of the doors and gates and chests and they can't spawn in it themselves so it can turn the tide of a war. Alternatively, it can be easily counteracted by having some of your own banners lying around so you can quickly capture a castle back before the damage is done by the ninja cap. It usually causes a lot of confusion for the defenders. You know, one minute they're defending the castle, everything seems fine, and the next minute they've lost they've lost the castle suddenly. They've got no idea what's going on. So that's why it's a really big fun event. The Merc Camp, short for Mercenary Camp, is the term for a place on every Persistent World and Persistent Kingdoms map. It's a neutral territory between the factions where you can join a faction or buy a banner. It's necessary because if a faction doesn't have any castles or territory, this is where you have to join it. And it's also a location where a faction is allowed to declare war from with all its members gathered. A TP door, short for Teleport Door, is a map making feature. Most doors on maps open and close like normal ones, but with these ones, when you interact with them, they teleport you rather than opening. So they teleport you somewhere that's a physically different location on the map, but it represents the building that you just tried to enter. The reason this one is quite important is for sieging castles that have them. For example, one of the ways to a banner point in a castle that needs to be defended might be through a teleport door, so you might be ordered to defend the teleport door or TP door. As far as I'm aware, they're really not popular, as features on maps, people much prefer normal doors that you can open and close rather than having to teleport, so they're really being phased out of current maps in PK. A kill box, or a meat grinder as I've also heard it called, is a tactic used to defend narrow choke points, particularly the castle walls, against attackers. So a group of castle defenders would circle around the top of a ladder that enemies are climbing up get two-handed weapons out and just smash the up attack over and over so when people jump down into that small space they should instantly die over and over. It's a really effective method so that's a kill box. Keep the kill box. Black Bard means very very low on health in PK. This comes from the health bar in Mountain Blade Warband so if it goes down to very low the red health bar is replaced by the black bar of no health, so it's called Black Bard. So you might say, help me with this fight, I'm Black Bard. Over polling or out polling comes from the system in Persistent Kingdoms where you vote for the Lord of a faction. Normally people agree on who's going to be the Lord of a faction, but if there's two competing groups of people within the same faction, they might try and have votes against each other to vote their own leader as lord. But the act of joining a faction with your group in order to take it over from an existing group of people who have a lord is called outpolling. So you join it with more people so that you can all vote for your lord. So taking over that faction would be overpolling it. Yeah.